Hi and welcome to this Blueberry Markets video update with me, John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video, we're going to take a look at the dollar index as we expect the dollar to continue to be bought up. And we mentioned this in yesterday's video that we're looking for the continuation of downside on the pound US dollar. And uh, one of the major factors for us was that the US dollar is gaining strength and the dollar index is gaining value. Now, what I was watching earlier today was this 100 level because the market came up around this level recently and has rejected on numerous occasions. But now we've started to see the breakthrough and the move higher. I expect the dollar to be strong this year anyway. Um, we were looking at that at the start of the year because of the um, presidential cycle. So typically in a presidential year, the, mar uh, the US dollar does gain significant value. Um, obviously, the, the changes to that is the fact that the coronavirus came around um, and is still affecting the markets now. So that's seen the uh, US dollar gain value. Now, all we can do really is look to continue looking for those dollar buys into key areas and um, then look for the pullback continuation type trades. Now, the next sort of area for me to consider is 101. Now, the dollar index uh, likes to kind of play between these um, levels of um, support and resistance, this sort of whole number level, such as 100, 101, 102, 103. And you can see here that the market has reacted from these in the past. Um, so I'm expecting a run up now into 101. Then it's about what happens next. Are we going to continue to uh, rally on above 101 and then head towards the 102 level? Or are we going to pull back into the 100, bounce, head towards 101, maybe stop to hear breakthrough bounce continue that's what i'm kind of looking for here on the us dollar how are we going to manage the buying of the of our trades you know so as as i said yesterday we looked at pound us dollar short and that sentiment has continued into today so the market if i just remove all the drawing tools um you can see here the market has continued to push lower um throughout today's session heading all the way down breaking through that 1.2 breaking through 1.9 and now heading towards uh, or actually just testing now 1800 and we spoke about yesterday the fact that the market could come and retest these lows now if the market broke out of those lows then that was more to do with that dollar strength as well so the dollar really having a negative effect here on the pound we're taking out those 2016 brexit lows and we're heading even lower now where we could head to is is the next question but it doesn't look like we're going to see many um long opportunities out of this um, unless we get some kind of severe um, price action suggesting that we are going to get that upside um, i imagine the commitment of trade reports are showing that the commercials are heavily buying pound but um, we'll have to wait and see to what those say um, but yeah essentially the market is continuing to move to the downside the only way i'd see us getting involved with these trades is just marking up those areas support and resistance and seeing if the market does come back like i said yesterday so if we go to euro for instance expecting that euro downside um, to continue we had a pullback um, we didn't quite get to the lows that we were looking for unfortunately we we're waiting for the price to get back to the 1.105 and then the markets continue to the downside so all we can really do here is mark up the next sort of area which is this 1.1069 area 1. 0955. Let's see if the market can pull back to here because if it can, then I'm expecting the market to jump around to about 1.078. Eighty, and if that's the case, then we can we could get some pullbacks on the way down. So all I'm looking for here then is a reversal. So let's see if the market comes back into this level, continue back, continue all the way down into sort of this 1.0800, 1.0780 level, which are these uh, weekly lows through here. So that's what I'm expecting to happen on Euro US dollar. That means the dollar index will continue or should continue to rally. Um, again, if we see that 101 hit and see a reversal i would look for the market to find um resistance 
our euro us dollar then around these lows through here ideally i'd like the 50 and the 200 to drop through here and give us a short in opportunity but we'll have to wait and see what happens there um, other markets being really affected by this are aussie and kiwi kiwi didn't again it's the markets aren't really pulling back into those structure points unfortunately um, was waiting for a deeper retracement here but the market continued to sell off so expecting that dollar to continue to gain strength and impact these markets further like i said just keep marking up those areas of support and resistance set those alerts wait for the market to come back to these levels and then look to trade in line with the overall sentiment okay thanks for watching this blueberry markets video update with me john kibler head currency analyst hope you enjoyed this video update if you did please like and subscribe to the youtube channel for more speak to you soon